Hi, my name is Brian Smith. In this video, I'm going to cover a quick overview of Performance Copilot, also referred to as PCP, in RHEL 8 Beta. Performance Copilot is a very powerful and feature-rich utility, and in this video, I'm just covering the basics on a single host, and I'm not covering topics such as the distributed architecture, where you can collect performance metrics from multiple hosts over the network. To get started, we'll run yum to install several packages, as shown here. To save time, I've already installed these packages. Next, we'll start and enable the PMCD process with systemctl. The PMCD process is the performance metrics collector daemon, which collects performance statistics. Then we'll start and enable the PM logger process with systemctl. The PM logger process is the performance metric logger, and it connects to the PMCD process and writes the performance uh, metrics to PCP archive files, so that you can go back and view them at a later time. Next, we'll run the PM info command which will show a list of performance metrics that PCP is able to work with on this system. And if we pipe the output to the WC command, we can see that there are around 2,000 available metrics on this system. If you want more information on any of these metrics, you can use the PM info command with a minus D, capital T flag, and a metric name to show details. In this example, the mem.freemem metric shows the amount of free system memory as reported in PROC meminfo. If we wanted to see this metric value in real time, we could use the pmval command, and we're going to specify minus s for uh, five samples, and we're going to specify mem.freemem, and this will show five samples of the free mem on this server, and as you can see, it's in kilobyte units. If we wanted to see historical information, the pmlogger logs this into slash var slash log slash pcp slash pmlogger, and then the host name. And we can use a command such as pmval like we did before, but this time use minus a to point it to that archive file. This will show historical information, and you can see here in the left-hand column we have the, the time, in the right-hand column we have the value of the free memory. If we want to see multiple metrics at once, we can use the pm dump text command, and in this case we're going to see the, the kernel.cpu.util, user, idle, and sys. You can see that in column 1 is user, column 2 is idle, and column 3 is sys. If we wanted to see historical information, we could again point back to that PCP archive file, and you can see here the dates and then the values of those three different performance metrics. We also have a PCP ATOP command, which shows information similar to the top command. And we also have a PCP IOSTAT, which again shows information similar to IOSTAT. Up to this point, we've only looked at text-based output of these commands, but there's also a PM chart command that will allow you to see graphical uh, graphs of these performance metrics. We'll go ahead and open that utility and then click on the Open View button, and from here we can see several predefined views for common uh, statistics you might want to see. So we'll open the CPU view, and we'll also open the memory view, and we'll open the disk view, and we'll also open the file system view. And this information shown here is real-time performance data from this host. Of course, if you want to see historical information, we could run PM chart and use that minus A flag to point it to the PCP archive file. If we do that, we can go ahead and click Open View. This time we will select the overview uh, view which shows a overview of common performance metrics. We'll go down and click the archive button in the bottom left and from here we can click the play button and we can see this historical performance information. We can use the slider here to fast forward or re rewind to find the time frame we want to look at. We'll go ahead and close this down and next we'll run uh, systemctl enable pmwebd um, and this will enable and start the PMWebD service, which allows you to use several different tools to look at Performance Copilot data from a web-based interface. We'll connect to port 44323 on the local host. You can see that there's several tools available here. We're going to look at the Vector tool and the Grafana tool. So we'll go ahead and open those in two different tabs here, and we'll start with the Vector tool. This takes a couple seconds to load the data in, but here in a minute we'll see the performance data. There we go, we can see the performance data for this host in this web-based overview. And if we go to the Grafana tab and click on the host name that we're on here, and we'll go up and click and show the last five minutes of data, 
can see that we can see the performance data from this web-based view as well. Again, this was just a very high-level overview of PCP. I didn't cover any of the distributed architecture that is available with PCP or many of the other very powerful features available with PCP. I hope you get a chance to try out Performance Copilot. Thanks a lot for watching the video and have a great day.